Alright, so we're moving on to more stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be a very long day. So, these two things on here I know I want to get rid of. Um, again, more elf stuff. Don't get me wrong, you guys. I love elf, but sometimes certain products just don't work anymore. This is the Studio Concealer in Ivory, and at first I did like this, but it's so orangey, peachy toned. And it's good for under your eyes, but this is such a dry formula. It does not work for me under my eyes. And I can't use it on my face because it's orange. So this needs to go. And I think it's really old. It's 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 really drying up on me really fast. I don't think I will repurchase this. And I believe this is in the shade medium. And the color is really dark. It's like a really dark um, very warm colored brown. It does not match me at all. And I don't like it. It's very, very waxy pencil. So again, I'm going to make a pile over here. Stuff that I am keeping, of course. My cool bronzer. Of course, I'm keeping all of my baked stuff from e.l.f. because I am obsessed with it. Um, for sure, keeping my e.l.f. baked blushes, baked highlighters. Love, love, love. I need to do a video on those because they're just awesome. Um, Jordana blush. Love this one in rose silk. I don't even know why I'm going through this drawer because a lot of this stuff I love already. I was so excited to get this new palette from NYX. And let me just say these are not the same quality as these ones. These are amazing. I wish they would have, you know, not discontinued them. This one is in smoky eyes. Yeah. And it's just my favorite go-to smoky eye palette. These are just as good as like La Roc, uh, the higher end brands. This is phenomenal. I love. If you can get your hands on these, I, I definitely recommend those. Oh, this. I'm definitely hanging on to this. This is what I wore on my wedding day. This Neutrogena eyeshadow palette. I don't even, oh, it does have the name on here. This is called Vintage Wine. And I, I don't use it anymore, but it's just sentimental values. I think I'll put this in my my uh, memory box where I keep my sentimental things. Yeah, just some more like elf stuff. So all of this I am definitely keeping. I don't know why I even brought this container out because it's a lot of stuff that I use. So out of all that, <laughs> uh, just a few things there. All right, let's move on. I have more eye products here that I've been wanting to go through. I'm going to go through these. I don't think I'm going to repurchase these from e.l.f. anymore. I love e.l.f., but you see, here's my problem. I love e.l.f., and because they are so affordable and I do love their products, when they have those big sales, I feel like I just go crazy. <laughs> I bought, like, all of their, like, cream eyeliners and I've already had to throw like half of them away because they dry out. And even if you try to revive them, you know, what are you going to do? So I'm going to go through them once again because I already downsized last year. And I feel like I haven't even touched these, which is really weird. I use these ones. These ones I love. These are the Long Last Dream Lustrous Eyeshadows. I have all of them and I use them quite often. So those I'm definitely keeping. Um... Uh, these liquid liners, these ones are new. These ones, I think it's time to pull these out. These are pretty old. And you really shouldn't use old um, liquid liners on your eyes. You don't want to get any sort of, you know, infection or anything. So I love these, and I think I would definitely repurchase them. This is the next liquid black liner. I like it, but I think I had a bad allergic reaction to it, sadly. So... Um, I love my e.l.f. one, though. It's it's pretty much the same thing as the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner, so, yeah, that needs to definitely go bye-bye. Um, this glitter liner from e.l.f., that is really old. That is way past expired. Um, this one needs to go as well. This is from Hard Candy. I actually really like their glitter liners. You know, just like mascara, you need to throw it out. Liquid liner. I'm really bad at that. Now we need to go through these guys here. Alright, so I decided to get rid of these two because they are completely dried up. Look at this. I mean, it comes out. <laughs> and I know what you're going to say. Well, why don't you add some drops of, uh, you know, like, little tricks you can do to revive them. 
the reason why that these dry out so bad, these are the cream eyeliners, by the way, not the cream eyeshadows. These dry out so fast because they're in a plastic container and the lids don't close on them very well. So this one was really pretty. This is punk purple and this one is just plum. I do, however, I'm keeping the black one because this is fairly new. I'm not going to open it, but I'm keeping the black eyeliner and then these three cream eyeshadows I am keeping. I did swatch them, so I have Teal Party, which is right here, and this is bronzed, and then smoke. Alright, so now I'm going through little palettes, some more face products, um, little palettes that I haven't maybe used. If I haven't used it within a year, it needs to go. Um, single eyeshadows. I'm so bad at purchasing single eyeshadows. So this is an example of me needing to <laughs> not buy any. I'm done. I'm done buying single eyeshadows unless it's in pan form and it's specifically for uh, like a Z palette or something. So like over here I have all of the um, the e.l.f. baked eyeshadows and I'm actually um, saving up so I can get one of those dome shaped Z palettes so I can depot all of these because these are actually really easy to depot and I don't I don't use them because they are in single um, form. So I, I definitely plan on depotting these because these are amazing. And a lot of these, obviously I can't depot them. They're just the mineral ones from e.l.f. Yeah, I would rather spend money on a nice palette, which probably would be cheaper than buying a whole bunch of these. So, yeah, that is my, that's my new goal this year. No more... Uh, single eyeshadow purchases. Um, these single eyeshadows from Jane Cosmetics. I have to tell you what, I, I don't think they're worth $8. I got them on sale, thank God, because I would never pay $8 for a single eyeshadow. That's just ridiculous. Um, especially if it's drugstore. The orange one is called Canyon, and then that sort of sage green is called... Well, it's called Sweet Basil. <laughs> Um, actually, they are nice. I haven't picked these up in a long time, and they are fairly new, so I think I will hold on to these. Maybe I will use them in a tutorial or something, but they are pigmented. You have to kind of press hard into the pan and build up the swatch a little bit, but they are nice. Now, I love Jordana. I got these on sale, as you can tell, $1.99. Um, this one I love. I need to take the price tag off. Maybe that's why I haven't used them. Um, this one is called Twice the Fun. This is by far the best out of the three because they're so buttery soft and so pigmented. Ugh. Oh, I love my blues. Wow. You know what? This is why you need to go through your makeup and look through things and swatch them and see, you know, is it really worth keeping? Yes. I would use this all the time. I just need to put it in a drawer where I would use it. So... Wow, I'm blown away. It's sort of like rediscovering your makeup. So I'm very pleased with those Jordana duos. All right, and this stuff here, I've got this Wet n Wild um, bronzer, but it's really a highlighter. I know everyone loves this, and I do like it, but the packaging is just so bulky. I don't know. I'm going to put it here for now because I'm just not crazy about it. This is the e.l.f. Glow. I really love this, but I haven't used it in forever. I'm going to keep it because I want to, you know, start using it up. This hard candy palette came in a holiday set, and I absolutely love it. I just don't talk about it because I don't think you can buy this, you know, separately, but it's gorgeous, and I do use it. All right, Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. I'm not getting rid of any of the trios. This... I never use it. This is the Petal Pusher palette. And I don't know, maybe I can try to give it one more go, but the colors just don't look good on me. I don't know what it is. It's just not my favorite. So, you know what? If I haven't used it in a year, it needs to go. The blue had me at hello. I think they're just continuing this one, but that matte black there, oh. Gorgeous. I need to break out my blues. And this is from the Black Radiance line. I love their eyeshadows, you guys. Look, it's the same thing. They're a sister company, so um, their products are very similar. I love this palette. Oh, I just love it. Oh, some more things. This one, Physician's Formula. This needs to go. I think I'm going to toss this in the, 
think this is gonna go bye bye. Like, <laughs> I did not like this. I was crazy about it at first because, like, oh, it looks like the naked palette. I'm I'm so over the naked craze. I'm just so over it. That needs to go. This next palette. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like the quality of these. They're just not as good as some other NYX products I've tried. This Flower Beauty Quad. Now, I love the Flower Beauty line. This is the only thing I think I, I'm i not crazy about. I love these colors, though. This is in Face the Gray. All right, eyeliners. I really desperately need to go through this because it's just time. You know what I mean? These, I know that I want to keep. This is all of my jumbo pencils, um, like from NYX, Jordana, um, Elf, Physicians Formula. Those I know I want to keep. This is what I've been wanting to go through. And let's just dump it out. So a lot of these are just your old standard pencils. Um, let me see. This one, I think I'm going to keep. This is a Cream Eyeliner Duo. I'm going to keep that. But I'm not crazy about these colored pencil liners. That needs to go. Um, the shimmer ones are actually really nice. I love the shimmer eye pencils. I just don't like that they don't have the names on here. They don't have the colors. So this one I definitely want to keep. This one needs to go. Shimmer pencil. Love it. This is a brightening eyeliner from e.l.f. Um, yeah. So these, these are going, these are staying. So, yeah. All right, so just when I thought that I was done, I am so not done. These e.l.f. eye enhancing eyeshadow palettes for brown eyes. Did not like these at all. Not good quality. I would not recommend them. Dila pressed pigments. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. But this was a complete impulse buy. And I love them. I have tried them out. This one is in center stage and it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And these are just stunning. Um, and I really do like Stila products. But I do not think that they are cruelty free anymore. Which is very disappointing that I spent all this money on... A high-end brand that I thought was, you know, well, they were at the time, but now they're not anymore, so it's like, eh. Alright, guys, and I think this is going to be just a final overview of what I'm getting rid of. And if you missed my other videos, the different parts to the series, I will link it down below. This is just an overview of everything I'm getting rid of and everything that I have went through my entire makeup collection and nail polish collection, everything. And, uh... So this big bag here full of stuff, I still haven't thrown away stuff that has expired so I'm going to sit through this probably off camera and um, throw away the stuff that needs to be thrown away that's expired. So um, not everything in there is, you know, reusable. And then stuff in here, I've got a lot of nail polish and this is going to a lot of my cousins that I've promised um, a lot of nail polish to and it's not that... Like these Sally Hansen ones, these are really good. It's just I haven't touched them. Um, those are going to a really good home. I'm very excited to give those away to family and friends and stuff like that. But I feel so much better and hopefully soon I can, um, you know, give these really pretty polishes a better home. And I downsize my collection a lot and I think this is a really good lesson for myself. And over the years I've learned more and more on what I truly like and what I don't like and I think from now on my goal is to purchase things that number one I know is going to work for me and well you know you never know when you try out a foundation it could be something completely different but you know what I mean like a certain color nail polish or you know stick to what you know and it is nice trying new things but um, yeah, I'm going to be more, more wise with my future purchases for sure.